So back by overwhelming demand by you, the Everyman Driver Nation, I'm Dave Erickson here at the ORV Park, about to do some light duty off-roading in this 2016 Honda Pilot all wheel drive. Now, any point during this video, if you'd like to schedule a test drive or get a great deal on this vehicle or any vehicle from a dealership of your choice in your zip code, click on the link below. It's called car.show forward slash everyman driver. It's 100% free, no obligation whatsoever. Just my way of helping you get a great deal on a new car or truck. And with that, let's get started. All right, Nation, we're behind the wheel. Hey, how do you like my new specs? These are uh, Serengeti eyewear. Found them online, I think it's serengeti.com. Pretty sweet deal. These are like a driving glasses collection, so I got myself a couple of pair, some sports, and also these. Anyways, here we go. Put her in drive. Lots to talk about when it comes to going off-road in this vehicle. Now, I did do a bunch of videos of this car back in July or August of last year. So the only thing we're missing is an off-road experience and based on your request, that's why we're here at the ORV park, obviously. So we begin by going down a descent and to tell you we have 7.3 inches of ground clearance. I'm gonna stop on the hill because we have intelligent traction management, normal snow, mud and sand. I'm gonna put it into sand right now because of the all-wheel drive system here, which is all new this year, 100% um, of the wheel, 100% of the traction can go, or the power can go to the front, and up to 70% to the back wheels. And with this system, I can see the traction light on. It's taking it like a champ. Boy, you can just feel, I can feel the vehicle like hugging the earth. That was pretty cool. That's pretty steep too. All right, so kind of recap of what this vehicle is all about. Under the hood, we have a 3.5 liter V6, 280 horses, 262 pound feet of torque. Now there are five trim levels, LX, EX, EXL, Touring and Elite. Available in both front wheel and all wheel drive. Obviously we have the all wheel drive and it depends on which trim level you go with on whether you get front wheel or all wheel drive. Top ones obviously are all wheel drive. Now there's also six speed automatic transmission or nine speed. We have the nine speed and we've got paddle shifters. All right. So you like me going off road, huh? I like it too. And you know, oh, the car really is kind of it's not letting me go too fast because of being in the sand mode. There's also auto start stop feature, which means the car kind of shuts down when you come to a stop for fuel economy reasons. Fuel economy on this is 19 city 26 highway. And I'll be completely honest and straightforward. I haven't done much, if any highway driving to speak of. And I've been averaging 19 miles per gallon. I've driven, 120 miles so far, we can, I can feel it catching. It's really not letting me go too fast. So I've been going almost everything uh, around town and it's averaging the 19 that Honda says it would in the city. So right on par for what it should be. And uh, yeah, there it is, 18.9 miles per gallon at 120 miles so far. And I still have 259 miles of range. How we doing? I think we're doing good. This, my friends, is a three row SUV. We have seven and eight seat configurations available. Right now I've got the captain's chairs and one of them is down uh, right now just because, because I was hauling some stuff in the back and I folded all that down to give myself some more room. In fact, behind that third row, when it's up, is uh, about 18 and a half cubic feet of volume for storage. Fold it down, 
like it is here, or at least uh, fold down that back seat, you're looking at over 55 cubic feet of volume, and then fold them all the way down, it's over 100, closer to 109 cubic feet of volume. Now I mentioned uh, the power of this vehicle, you know, 280 horses, 262 pound feet of torque. Well, it has the capacity to tow up to 3,500 pounds in front wheel drive and up to 5,000 pounds in all wheel drive. So you've got that going for you, which is nice. Okay, here we go. Here's a nice little descent. Check out the articulation as we go through this. Oh, oh, I can feel the back wheel is up because of the terrain. Nice and easy on the way down. Boy, I feel very comfortable and safe in this car. This is like a pumped up CRV, but better. Considering what that looked like from the approach, that was extremely smooth. That That is, you wouldn't think you can go over that and not have any real change in, in the vehicle's stability or horizontal flow. That was really nice. I think I just made up a term, horizontal flow. <laughs> All right, here we go, keep on going now. I hope you enjoyed that last video I did. It was with the, um, the 2016 Volvo, and I came out here, obviously, because it's all-wheel drive, and it, it, it crushed it. It is a solid vehicle. I mean, it's one of the safest vehicles out there. Not to say that the Honda's not safe, but it's safe, and it handled the, the, uh, the train pretty well. And with this vehicle, I'm feeling like we're gonna do, have something very similar. So we're gonna skip that little pond right there, unless I want to skirt around it and look for any devices inside. God, that'd be so cool. If you can see one, something popping up out of the edge. Probably won't happen. Ooh, this looks, uh, there we go. Just flirting with the water's edge. As far as the competition for this vehicle, uh, three of them come, come to mind. You got the Highlander, of course. I'd love to have the Highlander. I'd love to have any Toyota, by the way. Uh, the Traverse and Santa Fe. We've taken the Santa Fe out before. All right, so we've got two options here on which one to take. I'm gonna go through the Everyman Driver Gauntlet. This is my little valley. Now, I apologize, because I can't tell right now. We may have some sun glare. Got three cameras going. We will have some shade here. This really is the ultimate test, I think for the vehicles I take off-road. And you know, if you see the Honda Pilot maneuver this successfully, which it will, then you've got a winner on your hands. We're still in that sand mode. So, a couple of the wheels are, the power shifting to each of the wheels. Ah, heard some skid on one of the wheels, but the other wheels held on for traction. I'm going two miles per hour, by the way. Yep, we're, we're off one wheel in the back right now. So what the vehicle is doing is I've got left front, right front, and back right are connected to the ground left is up right now so we're getting power to these wheels while this one probably is not spinning because the vehicle is recognizing where the power needs to be distributed correct it didn't it wasn't spinning from what i saw when i hit the accelerator there we go so if you're new to the channel and you're still watching thank you why am I taking the Honda Pilot off-road? It's all-wheel drive, but not four-wheel drive. Because people want to know if I'm ever in the situation, how will my vehicle do? Because you can't go to a dealership and say, hey, I'll have to take it on a test drive. Where's your local ORV park? They're not going to do that. That's why you come to me, because I'm going to be safe, responsible, and I'm going to test the vehicle in a controlled environment but in something, oh, this is nice, it's just hugging it. 
but something that's not going to be too dangerous, but you're going to see what it's capable of doing. And we're doing that right now. Pretty happy with it, aren't you? Doing well. Impressive. We're going to leave it at that. We went down, we went up, we went down again, and then finished up with a gauntlet. No need to do anything too crazy because I really don't think, and that's just my opinion unless you say otherwise, you're going to take your vehicles in any more extreme conditions. Uh, for an SUV of this size, which is you know redesigned this year, three inches longer and an inch shorter, so it's going to be more aerodynamic. Uh, fuel economy wise, it's really good. Uh, that 19 to 26 range, you have the automatic uh, start stop feature. So when you do come to a stop light or a stop sign, it will turn off to be more fuel economy, fuel economic. Um, there's a couple, I'm gonna read these off so I wanna make sure I have this correctly. They have this Honda sensing package, which I think is fantastic, which includes a collision mitigation braking system, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, for collision warning, lane departure warning, road departure mitigation. So going down the road, this car will begin to vibrate if you are going outside the, the, the lines on the left or right. It lets you know if there's a car in front of you that there's an impending collision possible. So it'll flash the word brake up. You got the blind spot detection over here. Uh, adaptive cruise control. So when you're driving down the road, it'll keep a, a set distance between you and the car in front of you for safety reasons. It's a, I've, I've got so much more on the previous video, so just go on here on my channel, type in 2016 Honda Pilot, and you'll see what else I've done about this car. And this was just the missing element of all my videos, is doing a little off-road experience. And flying colors, thumbs up. It passed the Everyman Driver Test here at the ORV Park. Thank you for your request to do a video off-road. And again, thank you to Honda for trusting us uh, for the last three and a half years to drive their vehicles and take care of them. And um, I think this is definitely a winner. Price point, this one is just over $47,000, fully loaded with the Elite trim level, and we're rolling on 20-inch uh, wheels right now. Lots of great stuff. I'll have all of this on everymandriver.com, even some downloadable documents so you can uh, keep that with you, whether it's the specs and things like that. All right, that's it for now. Uh, any suggestions for future videos or future cars, anything like that, uh, leave them in the comment section below. How do you think it did? And uh, please subscribe. Tell your friends about us and have them subscribe to our channel as well because the bigger we grow, the more cars we get, the nicer cars we get, and the more variety of vehicles we get. And uh, we're only growing by leaps and bounds. So thank you for making that happen. I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Adios.